Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, today I wanted to answer a question that I got in the comment section. Uh, it came in uh, by one of our viewers called Foxloth, I believe, what he goes by. So anyway, his question was, do I know of an oscilloscope that you can show four waveforms on the scope all at different time bases? And my first response was like, no, I can't think of one. <laughs> I mean, most good scopes will have, you know, two time bases, what a lot of us call zoom now. You know, you hit the zoom button, and the old analog scopes, you'd click on a second time base. So you could have two time bases or a zoomed in version, right? And then I got to thinking about the new scope I've been testing, the Pico scope. So let me show you what it can do. Uh, power of Pico. <laughs> let me know what other scopes you guys think can do this. I think it's a great question and I came up with one, Pico scope. Let's go look. Okay guys, I just want to show you this. I think this is pretty darn cool. Uh, right now we got waveform A running and I'm going to pull B. Let's turn that on. And let's turn on C. We have four different waveforms. And there we are. So we can trigger on one at a time. Uh, we can spread them out. We can, you know, try to lock them in. Right now you can see uh, sine wave A is the one that's locked in. So if I come up here on trigger, I can go to B, lock in on the red one, or C, lock in on the green one, triangle wave, or D, uh, another kind of triangle wave. Um, so, yeah, you can do that, but it's kind of hard to see each one. So let me show you something else. What you can do is come over here to views and open up another view. And you know what, let's open up four views since we have four channels. And on channel, on the top view, scope one, see it's highlighted up here. On that one, I'm gonna turn off channels B, C, and D. Scope two, I'll turn off the other ones, leave on B. And scope three, I'll turn off A, B, and D. Scope four, you got it, A, B, and C. All right, so there's the four wave shapes. That's pretty cool, right? Now, here's the thing that I don't know if you can do on another scope. Even this, having four windows, uh, being able to see them, I think you can do this. I know you can do this in simulation software. I don't know if you can do this on another scope. Possibly you can uh, open up four different windows, but can you do this? Look, I can open up a magnifying glass that essentially, here I can just hit the plus, I can I can just uh, grab the wave shape and zoom in like this too, but I can do it this way and see you can change the size of the window and you can grab the window and move it around. You can, if I go just above it, see how I get the double arrows, I can zoom in or zoom down like that, okay? So you can do all these kind of things. You can hit this back arrow if you've kind of messed up. And you go, oh, yeah, I want to go back to that. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So, okay. So now I've got two time bases. This one here is a 2x version. Now, see this x right here? 1.1. That means I've, I'm zoomed in a little bit. See that? So if I go back to 1.0... I can do that or you can like I say you can grab the box and make fractions or grab the sliders or hit the plus minus there's different ways to do it but so right now this time base is a 2x time base above this one so this one's 500 microseconds up here let's make this one let's make uh, two milliseconds okay so now this one down here is one millisecond and you might be guessing what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna grab this one, make this one uh, 5x, okay? And then grab this one 
and I'll pull the window up so I can see the bottom of it here and I'll make this yeah you know what I'm gonna grab it this way and just custom it I'm gonna make this like that I guess and if now I can see four different time bases on the same you know in the same window I've got four scope shots here all in the same window here I'm looking at and now if I want to actually trigger on one I, I have to trigger one at a time now maybe this is something in the software update they can do is where they can have the trigger uh, toggle between the four so you can lock in all four at the same time I think that'd be awesome but uh, maybe it's something that someone hasn't asked requested yet so I think I'll request that with a few other ideas I have let me know if you guys have any ideas and I'll add them to my list but what do you think of this I think this is pretty darn cool and let me show you something else let's just say that well it's cool to see them all separate but with the triangle one it'd really be kind of cool to put on maybe screen scope three maybe i add d to it so i can kind of see those guys together well in this case maybe i want to trigger on one of those two guys maybe i'll trigger on c okay then i'll trigger on d see what i mean it'd be great to be able to have the trigger jump between the two Right now, I don't think he can do that, but that'd be a cool addition. But, I mean, isn't this neat how you can have all these different views, all with different time bases? As, you know, essentially, they're different time bases, right? Because I got these zoom-in windows. And these zoom-in windows, you can move them around, okay? So, if you want them over on this side, you can move them over here. So, and let's just say screen one, I want to add, uh, you know, the triangle wave. Or maybe not the triangle wave, maybe I want to add this one. That, you know, I guess it's another triangle, but pretty cool stuff, right? I just wanted to show you that. Oh, and by the way, you can freeze them all. Nah, that's another way to lock them in, okay? Just stop it and freeze so you can get a picture that way too. Okay, guys, so what do you think of that? The power of Pico. All right, so what do you think? Uh, that was a pretty cool thing, right? And you can also, what I didn't show you, you can also pull up four spectrum shots or scope shots and spectrum shots. It's pretty amazing how many windows you can open. And with the big screen, like I, I just have my little 13-inch uh, uh, laptop. And it's, compared to these, it's huge. But I want to set up something in here where I have a big screen. And I think that would be really cool. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know any other uh, maybe PC scopes that can do this. I think it would be great to, to know what scopes can. All right? And uh, I think it was a great question. Thanks for the question. And thanks, guys. Hope you found this interesting. And we'll see you next time.